Hey guys, welcome back to another deck profile. I'm Richard and today we got some more V Premium content and today it's Sanctuary Guard. So let's go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. So this is also with the new uh, V Clan Selection support. So our starter is going to be the uh, Ambrosia starter that came in the Sanctuary Guard set. So came with the set, kind of fits the theme. You know, you got you to gotta have the Ambrosius sync guard starter next up we're going right into grade threes four copies of sanctuary guard dragon so this is our main ride of the deck sanctuary guard skill is if your opponent's at grade three um and you have at least one grade one rear guard uh somewhere it's original crit becomes two so most likely you're gonna have the grade one so it's a grade three with two crit when your opponent's at grade three really good second skill is at the end of the battle that it attacked, you counter blast one, um, rest three back row grade one rear guards, and discard a card, and you can restand this and give your whole front row 10k. So it doesn't lose a drive check, it keeps the crit. Oh, and the front row also, yeah, the front row gets 10k, as I already mentioned. Um, so you're gonna have all those front row grade twos already with a good amount of power. Um, you get triggers, you can put triggers on them as well. Um, it's just Kind of like a really simple, just go in your face, restand, attack four times kind of deck. So, kind of, kind of simple, but the skill is just really good overall. All right, next up, four grade threes. We got a decent rear guard and still a decent vanguard. So I'm running three copies of Pure Heart Jewel Knight Ashley. Ashley's skill is Van or Rear. At the end of the battle that it attacked, you Soul Blast 2. You search your deck for up to one Grade 2 or less Jewel Knight. Call it to Rearguard Circle. Excuse me. Uh, if this is on a Vanguard Circle, you call 2 instead. So you call 2 Grade 2 or less Jewel Knights. So you can call 2 Grade 2s to the front row, or you can call a column with a Grade 1 and a Grade 2. Whatever kind of works. Uh, the other skill is Vander Rear, when a unit is placed on top of this unit, you can counter blast one, and the unit placed on top of this gets a crit. So kind of like the break ride, where the original Ashley gave 10k and a crit. If you have this on a Vanguard Circle and you ride uh, Sanctuary Guard on top of it, you can counter blast one and give Sanctuary Guard an additional critical. So now it's swinging for three crit, and it restands with three crit, so that's pretty cool if you want to do that, kind of push for game that way. Um, but also works on rear guard circles. So if you swing, use Ash Ashley's skill to call a grade two or a grade one, call it on top of it. You can count blast to give it a crit, so forth. I'm mostly using it just for the fact that it's multi attacking. So you can get off five attacks if this is on the vanguard circle. And you can also get off five attacks if you have Saint Guard as your van, because you can swing, swing, call another grade two. So a lot of multi attacking going on with this deck. Um, but I do feel like since the goal is to ride Saint Guard, I do I did minimize this down to three, um, just because there's no real way of uh, searching out and setting up for the main phase other than um, through you know through its own skill to build a board. So hence the reason why, and also you know you want to kind of downplay having great threes in your hand. So three actually seems to work fine for me. So I'm going to now jump into the great twos. Uh, I am running the Heal Guardians. I'm just going to go off into um, them in the trigger lineup. So going into grade twos, we got a uh, wing stand. Got the get that foil up there since the little package came with one foil. So wing stands, direct sync guard support. First skill is during your turn, if your Vanguard Sanctuary Guard, it gets 5k for each of grade ones. So by itself... It's a 25k beater if you have a back row full of grade ones for Saint Guard skill. Becomes 35 when you restand Saint Guard. If you get a trigger, it's 45. It's just a really good card. The second skill makes it even better. Vander Rear when placed, kind of blast one. Look at the top seven. Search for a grade one. Call it. Shuffle your deck. So the fact that it's top seven and it doesn't require your Vanguard to be Sanctuary Guard for you to get the the search off, really good. So it helps out with Ashley if you have to write Ashley. Call this. And then you can build up a board that way. So really, really, really good grade two. Next up, uh, we are running Jewel Knights. So we probably want to maximize those grade two Jewel Knights. So Explode Jewel Knight Lily. Uh, Lily's skill is rear guard circle and attacks. You can choose two normal units, put them on your deck, 
use Soul Charge and it gets 5k, so it's like a little bonus, but also recycling those other Jewel Knights is helpful. And then the other skill is Vanner Rear. When another unit is placed on top of it, the new unit called gets 10k. So if you swing with Lily, and then you swing with like Ashley Vanguard or Ashley Rearguard and call a new Lily on top, um, the new copy is going to get an extra 10k, which is pretty cool. It's, it helps out with the multi-attacking. Uh, force markers also help when you're going to be stacking on one specific column. It's just overall a really good card. And lastly, for grade twos, uh, running four copies of Absolute Blade Knight Livero. So Livero's skill is one of my favorite skills in this whole game. It's um, when you place it from hand, you cannot blast one, and you search a deck for any grade two that's not named... No, it's actually just any grade two. You can even search out another Livero because it doesn't matter. You can't use the skill when you call it the second time. So you call it a grade two, then, if uh, when you place it, if you do not have a face-up card in your damage zone, you can pay the cost with Soul Blast instead. So, really versatile card. You're going to have Soul. So, even if you have all face-down damage and you need to build a board, you can still search out Grade 2s, which is amazing. It works on Van or Rear, so you can ride it, search out a Grade 2. It's just an overall really, really good card. So, got, And I want to maximize it, so that's why I'm running 4. So that way, you know, if you you just need another wing stand for like a front row beater, you can just boom, call it to an open rear, and then call a grade one on top of uh, Livero if you need to. So Livero is just basically a substitute for any grade two in the deck that you need in whatever moment you need it. So just a really good card for toolboxing. So now we're moving on to the grade ones. So getting four copies of Ball is All, so the one that came in the Sanctuary Guard box. Vanguard Circle, when it's written, you look at the top seven cards of your deck and you can either add a Sanctuary Guard or a Wing Stand to your hand from among those seven, and then afterwards you shuffle your deck. Rearguard Circle is when your Vanguard Sanctuary Guard and same attacks, you give it 10k, and then if um, if you don't have a phase of card in your damage zone, you can counter charge, and then you can only use the ability of this card once uh, per card name, so if you have two balls all, you can only use the skill once. Um, the important thing about Ball is All is that the skill only works the first time Signature Guard attacks, so you can't save the counter charge for afterwards because the skill auto is when it attacks. So if you choose not to counter charge or meet the requirements, and it says you can only use the skill once per turn, you have to give the 10k the first time. So a little unfortunate because it doesn't have the word cost, so it means you can't choose to not pay the cost. It just happens. So when your Saint Guard attacks, it gets 10k. If you don't have a face-up damage, you counter charge. But the counter charge is still nice because you guarantees that you can get off Saint Guard's skill. So that's what's really nice about Balls All. Very necessary card for the deck, so definitely want to run four. Next up for our four ofs, I decided I'm gonna run four copies of Lore Knight Sicilis. Um, with Heal Guardians being a thing, and you want to guarantee that you ride into Sanctuary Guard for the most part, Sicilis is very helpful. So first skill is if you don't have any face-up card in your damage zone, it gets another 5k. And then when it's placed from hand, you look at top five, search a grade three, add it to your hand. If you added a card, you discard one. So you're going to be using up Counterblast a lot, pretty much, since you have cards like Livero, um, the grade one uh, Jewel Knight, and Wingstand. You're going to be Counterblasting a decent amount. So if you're on Ashley as Vanguard and you need to use this as a booster... It's still pretty good overall, but since you're resting your grade one back row, you're not really going to be seeing that power. But if you're going to have to call down a grade one as fodder just for the rest, it might as well be something that helps you search out grade threes out of your deck. You know, so you call it. If you find another sanctuary guard that you don't need, you can just discard it. So still an overall good card. Next up for grade ones, I am running three copies of what is your name? Charging Jewel Knight Morvidus. So I'm only running three of Morvidus because um, space, but also because Morvidus isn't really an aggressive Jewel Knight. Like, you don't want to call it with Ashley to, as an attacker. You usually use it as kind of setup, And it's good in Sanctuary Guard because it's still a grade one. Uh, the first skill is Rear Guard Circle, Cannon Blast 1. You pick a normie in for your drop, put it on the bottom of your deck. So recycling other Jewel Knights. You Soul Charge 1, and you choose a Jewel Knight, and it gets 5k. So if you have a Lily in the front or an Ashley in the front, you can give it an extra 5k. Since you're going to be resting your back row anyways, that extra 5k could help, you know, kind of push for a turn. 
The second skill is Vanner Rear. When another unit uh, is placed on top of this, you draw a card. So this is also really helpful if you just play it for the skill and then you want to call something on top of it. Like let's say you want to call a Sisyllus just so you can do a search. You don't really neg because now you call on top, use more of a skill, you can draw a card. Or you can use Sisyllus skill first, like a top five, and then follow up with Morvidus afterwards and draw afterwards. So it's still a really decent card overall for, you know, resource management, gaining up power. And that's a Jewel Knight, so it's searchable by Ashley. So good card. But for space issues and also consistency, the three, the three copies work fine. Next up, we finally got the new cards. I'm going to be showing off some new cards, I promise. Uh, Knight of Warhammer, Augustus. This is a great card for Sanctuary Guard. I'm only running two. Uh, I was debating on dropping Morvidus down to two to run another Augustus, but since Augustus doesn't really do anything to help you set up for the turn, it's more of kind of like a help you push for a kill turn, I toned it down to two, and also since it's searchable by Wingstan, works out. So Augustus' skill, first skill is... Not really related to the, to the this deck, but I'll read it anyways. It's when this boosts a blaster blade or a unit with blaster blade in its name, you counter blast, you discard, it gets 5k and an extra drive. That's mostly for decks like Thing Saver, Gans a lot, maybe MLB, probably not, but I would say the first skill is more helpful with Gans a lot than anything. Uh, but the second skill is the real kicker. It's back row rear guard circle at the end of the battle that your vanguard attacks you restand it, and that's once per turn. So what's really nice about that is your Vanguard can attack, right? And then you rest this for, you rest the back rows, right? So if you got another grade one in the middle for Sanctuary Guard's skill, Sanctuary Guard attacks the second time, and after the second attack, they restand. So now you got boosters again. So you don't lose, you don't miss out on those boosters, which is pretty dope. Um, again, like if you want to run more copies of this because that sounds awesome, go for it. Uh, the other thing is it also helps with Ashley. So if, uh, if you have this on a, on a rear guard column and you swing with Ashley after you swing with this column and you call out a jewel knight here and then at the end of the battle of vanguard attacks, you restand this. It's, there's just a lot of good, good old restanding vanguard combos going on with this card. So really good. I'm just keeping it at two because once you kind of once you got it down, it kind of sits there unless you're playing against a control deck that pops it. But even if you do, it's not the end of the world. It's not a necessity for the deck. And it only goes off once, so it's not that big a deal. But I definitely think I like the uh, Sisyllus's. Uh, if you Maybe if you want to drop Sisyllus down to three, you can run another one of these. That works too. You can play around with it in your own way. But I like the two for now. Lastly, there's also a tech you can tech out instead if you want another Augustus. It's Knight of Going Alone Herald. Not only do I love the name Knight of Going Alone Herald, but its its skill is not bad either. I'm only running at one because I feel like I don't see it that often multiple copies. Its skill is when your other uh, grade two is placed other than from your hand, you can put this into your soul and it gets plus 15k. So two different scenarios this works with is you are setting up your main phase and you want to call a grade 2 Jewel Knight or a grade 2 um, Wingstand using Livero. You can move this to Soul and give it 15k. The other setup is obviously where you have Ashley on the board, either your van or on the rear guard circle because you're going to rest this with Sanctuary Guard if it's on your rear. So this is rested from Sanctuary Guard skill. You're swinging with Ashley. Ashley's skill at the end of the battle, you call out a grade two, and since you called out a grade two other than from hand, you can move this into the soul and give it another 15k. So that's a pretty decent combo you can do, but it's not something you're going to do consistently throughout the game, so I feel like having this as a one of is nice just for that little extra push. The rest of my grade ones are more for like consistency sake, so, but... This card still is really nice when it does go off. It's, you know, you just throw it down, rest it, call out a grade two, shove to soul give 15. Fun times, fun times. So now we're moving on to triggers. Uh, I did mention that uh, at, when I was going through the grade threes, I'd be going through the heal guardians next. So I'm gonna go through it now. So this is my trigger lineup. So first off, grade three heal guardians, really great addition to the deck. 
Uh, first skill is when it's placed on the Guardian Circle. Uh, if you have not ridden a Grade 3 yet, you can choose one of two things. Either your Vanguard gets 10k for the turn, or you choose one of your opponent's units that's attacking and it gets negative 2 crit. So it just helps when your opponent's trying to rush you, if you just need something really quick to kind of help you bolster your defenses, like get a free trigger for the turn, essentially. Definitely a really helpful card. It does lose the 5k shield, but it's totally worth it. It's searchable by Sisyllus, so if you're, you know, main phasing and you call Sisyllus from hand and you're trying to get an Ashley or a Sanctuary Guard, but you end up finding this, still helps out. You know, even if you are pulling a trigger out of your deck, it's still a good defensive card. Second skill is when this is placed on the rear guard circle, if you do not have a card in your damage zone, you can call, you take the top card of your deck and you put it in your damage zone face up. So you have a counter blast to work with, which is really nice. I would say that second skill is more of a premium thing where damage denial is more prevalent. Then V premium, it's not that much. So, but the, it's nice that it's there. But the first skill is the most important thing. So I am running and maxing out the heal guardians for Royal Paladin. I think it's a great addition for any any deck. Every deck loves these heal guardians, so get them while you can. So moving on to the next trigger, I'm running two draw PGs because we are running two sentinel crits. So these are my this is my sentinel lineup. So it's two draw, two crits because Sanctuary Guard gains a crit and it restands. So if your opponent's at three damage and they say no guard to Saint Guard. You get a crit, you basically win. You know, and even if they PG the first one they're at three damage, you get a crit. That puts more pressure on your Vanguard in general. So I like having more crits in the deck. So this is a 10 crit two draw for heal deck. The instead of just going the full on 12 crit, I do like the draw PGs just because they're good to damage. There will be moments when your opponent will swing at you with numbers that the 30k shield alone is like not the most helpful with. So it's just nice to have draw PGs. You drive check them, you draw a card. Draws are always good in general, so the good the, the split between the two is nice. But if you want to go the full aggro with the 12 crit, go for it. It it works. Uh, next up is the last bit of our trigger lineup, which is the last four vanilla crits. So we got Epona and we got Flogel. Kinda try to get them set up there. Here we go. So that's pretty much it. They're vanilla crits. Uh, V-Series was kind of boring with their crits, uh, unlike D. So at least D has crits with skills, and or triggers with skills in general, which is nice. But we got our vanilla crits. So crit crits, and that's how you win the game. Anyways, that was pretty much it for the deck profile. Uh, for the most part, the I main idea is that you are going to want to ride Sanctuary Guard Dragon. Um... Ashley is really here as kind of a support card in the front row, help you engage with more multi-attacking. Um, still an overall really decent card. And what's really nice about the Jewel Knights and the rest of this deck is that there isn't really a conflict where other cards are trying to use Soul more than Ashley is, since it is Soul Blast 2, just to call one card. Um, the only thing I would say is maybe Livero is using up Soul, but... It's not that bad since uh, both of the Grade 2 and the Grade 1 Jewel Knight, they both help you soul charge. So you're feeding into the soul, you're rewriting Grade 3s if you want more markers, and you got the one copy of Going Alone Her Herald to shove into soul. So there's that as well. So that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Thank you guys for watching and... I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen the game with this deck. It's really fun to use. And yeah, that's all I really got to say. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.